In this tips and tricks demonstration video, we'll look at the typical flow of events for membership scenario number two. This scenario involves creating a free account prior to a membership payment. This means the member will never need to leave your site. In scenario two, a visitor lands on your site and is interested in gaining access to your hidden content. They head to your join us page where they are prompted to complete a free registration form. They complete this form as instructed prior to being able to purchase a membership. Once they complete the form, they are directed to a page where they can now pay for a premium membership. After a successful payment, the customer's membership level is automatically upgraded and they gain access to your premium content. We'll now complete scenario two as if we were a customer ourselves. As a customer, we've come to the Nana's Recipes site. We want to learn how to cook some of Nana's recipes, so we try to go to a premium recipe such as the best spaghetti bolognese. Once we land on this page, we realize that we need to be a member to view this content. If we previously had joined the site and were a member, we could click the login link to view this content. As we are not yet a member, we'll need to click on the join today button. We are directed to the join us page where site admin gives a spiel about why we should become a member of their recipe site. We read the information given and realize that we need to create a free account prior to purchasing a membership. We really want to know how to make the best spaghetti bolognese, so we decide to click the create an account button. This brings us to a registration page where we'll need to enter in some details prior to registering. So we'll go ahead and enter in those details. We'll need to enter in a username, a password, an email. We can see that this is just for a free membership currently. We'll need to enter in a first name and a last name, and then we can click on the register button. This site has auto login enabled so we didn't have to re-enter our login details. We were taken straight to the Payments for Paid Membership page. It's on this page that admin lists all the different memberships available. As you can see, there's a couple of Buy Now memberships and then there's a couple of Subscribe Now memberships. It's up to the customer which membership that they choose. This customer has heard the golden membership level gives them access to the premium recipes such as the best spaghetti bolognese. They know a friend that's already joined the Golden Membership, so they decide to go ahead and buy this membership as well. They're taken to PayPal where they'll proceed with the payment. They go ahead and they enter in their PayPal details. They click the Pay Now button to proceed with the membership payment. And their payment has been successful. It is at that stage when the payment is successful that the free membership account is upgraded to the membership level that they have just paid for. Now this customer will be able to go to premium recipes and view the content for the best spaghetti bolognese. This is one very happy customer. Now that we've had a look at the flow of events from a customer's point of view, let's have a look at the basic setup required for member sign up scenario two. I've returned to my dashboard, which is where we'll need to be to set up this scenario. For further details on this setup, you'll need to visit the eMember documentation page. This video tutorial will just give you the basic understanding. The first thing we'll need to do is to create the paid membership levels. So we'll head to WP eMember, membership level, and it's here that we'll need to add in the new membership levels that we'd like to offer to our future customers. You'll need to create your paid levels, but you also need to create one free level. This will be the free registration form. So I'll go ahead and I'll edit this just to show you, but you'll need to add new. So if I went and edited this, my membership level would be free. It'll need to be a subscriber and the redirect after login URL will be the page where you've listed all your different paid membership levels. I'll get back to this a bit later in the video. So there'd be no expiry and you'd simply just submit this one. Once that you've created all the membership levels that you'd like to offer, you'll need to protect your general blog content. So this will involve clicking on pages and finding the content that you'd like to hide 
for members only. So in this case, I'm going to protect my basic rich chocolate cake recipe. I'll use the check boxes found towards the bottom of this page. So if I scroll down, you'll see a section called e-member protection options. Check the boxes next to the membership levels that you would like to have access to this content. Furthermore, you can use section protection shortcodes. So for this recipe, I'll be allowing anyone who has a membership to view it. I've now protected my blog content, so I'll click the update button. I'll head back to the pages menu where I'll need to find my join us page. So I'll scroll down and I'll click on join us. On the join us page is where I'll need to try and sell my membership to customers. I'll also need to instruct them to sign up for a free account prior to purchasing a paid membership level. I've added in a nice create an account image, which I've then linked to my registration page. You can find the URL of your registration page by clicking on your e-member settings menu. Now that I've customized my join us page, I'll need to create another page where I list all the memberships I have available. So after I update this page, I'll go back to the main pages menu and I'll go to the second one, which is where I've got my payments for paid membership page. On this page, I've listed all the memberships I have available for my customers. So I've got my golden membership, monthly membership, silver membership, and gold membership. I've then gone ahead and I've hidden this page so that people who are not a member cannot see it. So only my members can see this page. This prevents someone from coming here to this page and buying a membership before they've completed the free registration form. So if I scroll back up, for each membership you list, you'll need to have the corresponding payment button. So you can click on WPE member, payments, create new button, and you can select the button type that you'll be offering. For example, PayPal buy now button. I'll just need to enter in the button title, um, which membership this is attached to, a payment amount, currency, the return URL, my PayPal email address, and I can have a button image URL if I wish. After I save this payment data, a button like this will appear here. I'll need to copy this button shortcode and paste it in my text editor. These shortcodes then create the payment button on the front end of my site. That concludes this tutorial on Membership Sign Up Scenario 2. To create a simple membership sign up for your customers, enable auto login after registration from your eMember settings menu. For more information, please visit our documentation page.